Alrighty, so we're back in NCAA. Didn't go through the process of uploading it, because I've done it a few times. Um, if you don't know at this point, go back and watch, and you can find that out. But we are going to go to the scores and schedules page. And we're going to show you. See, the games are still saved, but now it says Southern Miss beat Louisville. Um, our one that was up here a little bit, uh, Georgia beating Ohio State. Uh, Northern Illinois beating Miami, and then Marshall beating Texas A&M. So that's all fine and dandy. Now let's go to our games that we have now made. So we've got the Boise State, Missouri game, and then the Baylor UCLA game. So as we did before, I'm going to do it uh, one more time for at least this one. You go into there, you choose whichever team. Doesn't really matter either way. Make sure that the uh, playbooks and all that is the same so you're not messing with the actual team. Because if you have a custom playbook that's set to your profile and then you load into the Dynasty file and you load it up, it'll use your playbook and it might mess with the uh, team in general. So make sure that you use the team specific playbook and you should be good to go from there. So now we're going to go and we're going to uh, super sim through the game like we did before. I'm doing it one more time, at least this part, to show you and then I'll quickly do the other one and we'll move on from there. So we'll let this guy load up a bit as we wait, and then once it gets there, we'll start to the Super Sim, get through this, and we'll go through the same process, saving it to our USB, and then moving on from there. So it's about done. There we go. It's gonna load into here. Uh, skip all this stuff. Uh, don't really care about the pre-game stuff. Details. All right, cool. Move on. We'll just receive. And there we go. Alrighty, so we're going to hit the right bumper to Super Sim. And we're going to go Y and just skip ahead to the end of the game. We'll let this go all the way through and we'll see what goes on. So Baylor get, jumps up to an early lead. 14-0 uh, lead, actually, in UCLA Stadium. A 21-0 lead. UCLA is falling apart as Baylor is just unloading on them right now. This is actually crazy. I did not see this happening. Baylor almost had a shutout through the entire game, but... Looks like Baylor's going to win huge here, 35-3. to So, there's our sim. So far, the uh, Baylor Bears have been the darlings, uh, the Cinderella's, who are now in the national title. And as I said before, what I like to do is I like to check a stat just to make sure it saves all the way through. So, we'll look at uh, Lake Seastrunk. Um, he has got, uh, let's see right there, 18 uh, attempts for 71 yards and a touchdown. So I'm gonna just record the score really quick on my little notepad here. Um, Baylor 35, UCLA three, and that's crazy because it was at home. And that was our um, West semis. All right, and I'll write down the other one, the East semis, which is not really Eastern. But there we go. So there's our stats. I've written those down on our little notepad that we've got here. And I'm going to back all the way out. Exit the game. And then we'll just have to do this one more time for the Boise State Missouri game to find out who will be in our national championship game. So let's see how well this works. There we go. Going to go back to the title screen. And it'll ask me if I want to add the Rose Bowl trophy. Not really. But I'll do it anyway. Add the trophy, and we're back here. It's going to auto-save really quick. And then we're good with the second part. So I'm actually going to cut it right here. I'll get to where the game is. And I will be back with you guys after I sim this next game, uh, the Boise State Missouri game. I'll be right back with you with the final result, and then we'll move on to my computer. So I will see you guys here shortly. Alrighty guys, so now we have simmed our second game, and as you can see, Missouri uh, pulls off the upset against Boise State. It actually wasn't as close as the score is indicating. Uh, Boise State scored a touchdown really late in the game. I don't think it'll, yeah, show me the score in summary and all that. But yeah, Boise State scored a really, really late touchdown to make it a three-point game, but I think that was with like 10 seconds left. So Missouri wins this one, so our national championship is going to be Baylor against Missouri, an old Big 12 game, which is exciting i mean this is what the playoff thing can do so i'm really excited about that we are now going to back out of the score and schedules tab we are going to go to the dynasty setup we're going to save this right over as we've done before we're going to save right there it's going to save the 18 playoff that we're working on right now and it's good to go 
we are going to back out of here. And we're just going to dashboard. Dashboard that. All right, so now we're done with that. Going to grab the USB from the Xbox. We're going to be on a computer. Um, and we're going to record uh, changing that up. And then we're going to just have two more steps after that. And we will be done with our 18 playoffs. So I will see you guys here shortly back on my computer. Alrighty guys, so now we are on our computer for the second to last time. We go through the process again. Uh, open up our Modio. It's gonna tell us, do you want to use this? Of course. It is gonna now open up Modio right over here. Gonna open from a device. Let's load up the device. Gonna go to my gamer tag, the NCAA, and then go to their 18 playoff that we just saved. Gonna grab that file. Go to the file contents tab show our file we're gonna extract the file right into there and we're gonna save over it yes alrighty now we're done with Modio after a while it usually gets uh, muscle memory you know exactly what you got to do when so now we're gonna go over here we're gonna load a configuration we're gonna go back out and go to this dynasty config open it's gonna take a little bit to load up and then once it does, we're going to open our Dynasty file that we just extracted from our little USB right here. Going to go up to your file, open, go to where we've saved all our stuff. Don't fret if it doesn't show anything. You got to change this to all down here. Probably got to do that every time. And then we want to load the file file, not the database file, but the file type file. And this will take a little bit, take about two minutes. So I'll cut to it uh, loading up and we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so now our file has finally loaded, and now we don't have to change much this time. We are thankfully just got to change a few things. We're going to double click the game number, double click the week number, I'm going to move this out a little bit, and all we have to change now is the winner of our two games into the national title. So we have Missouri winning, so we're going to flip them with Colorado State. Is that how I have it here? Yeah, Colorado State against Boise State. We're going to put Missouri here like so then we are gonna flip um, I think it's a game after yeah uh, Baylor with Ohio and Ohio with Baylor like so and that's it now we just gotta go to the team schedules right here double tap the game number double tap the week number and then we just gotta flip it here we gotta put um, the way I put it is Baylor and again I don't think this matters either way you put it I've done it uh, three times so far now and every time that I've done the file it doesn't matter who you put where just as long as they're both catty corner from each other or I don't even know if that's the word for it but that's the word I'm using for it as long as they're opposite of each other and then Colorado State with Mizzou like so and then we just got to scroll down to 33 and 34 after week 20, 33 and 34, replace Baylor with Ohio. This one it matters though, as long it's got to sync up with what you put over in the schedule. So this one matters. Uh, if you're moving two teams into uh, two different bowl games, it doesn't matter. Mizzou with Colorado State. Mizzou with Colorado State. And that is it. We are already done. That really quick. That's all we had to do. We're going to save our file. Like so. And it'll give us the done. And we're done with the EA DB editor. Gonna bring up Modio right here. Going to right click. Replace the file that we just saved on our desktop or wherever we saved it. Bring up this file. We're going to replace it. And then as soon as you can hover over the general file info, yeah, I'll give you the not responding when it's not when it's working. There we go. As soon as that can change, you'll go here to the save to device. And remember, watch this lower left hand corner before you try and uh, exit out of this. You'll select your gamer tag. We'll start saving and then when it flips from save to device back to NCAA football 14 you are done so let's see pumping out save to device 
and then NCAA Football 14. Now you're done with Modio, you can exit this out. And there it says it's not working. Uh, we're just gonna close it. I'm gonna open back up really quick. I haven't had this happen yet, but now that it has, I'm going to recheck that all my files are still the same. So I'm gonna op actually open it back up and replace the file again. So if this does happen to you, you know what to do. Yeah, we're gonna, it said it didn't run correctly, so we're gonna reopen it again. Because we still have the file saved on our desktop, so if this does happen to you, you can go through this project, our process. So there we go. You know, bring up Modio. There it goes. We're gonna open from a device right here at CWA Football 14. Select this, and all we're doing is the exact same thing we did the last part of it. We're gonna replace the file with this. It's replaced. We're gonna save to device, double click on our name, it's gonna start saving. And then again, when it changes, it goes back, you can exit out of this, exit out of this, and we're done. All we have to do is remove our flash drive safely. And once it gives us a little safe to remove, we are done, alrighty. So there's that. Gonna meet you back on the Xbox for the last simulation we're gonna have to do. And then we'll have one more edit on the computer and then we'll just advance to the week and show you that it's all done. So I'll be back with you guys on my Xbox here shortly. Alrighty guys, so now we have moved the national championship game. So let us go into our scores and schedules and that is just the last thing that we'll have to super sim. One thing I do wanna show you, so Marshall has 13 games on their schedule. So they have played 13 games. Uh, Ohio's only played 12. Um, and Northern Illinois has only played 12. Compared to teams like Miami, who have now played 14, because um, they've played in uh, the semifinal game. Uh, Boyd State, who's played in 15, because they played in the, or they played in the semifinal game. Uh, Miami played in a regional. Uh, Texas A&M played in a regional. They've only played 13, because they didn't play a conference championship game, so they have one more or I guess the same amount of games as Marshall, because I think Marshall was in a conference championship game, if I do remember. Yes, they were. So yes, as you can see, the teams who have been moving, like the Marshall, the Ohio, Colorado State, they do not have any extra games. So those that's why they're gonna be losing them. So that's just clarification. So you can see the stats are actually showing. They still are keeping their um, games that they played. It just doesn't show it, um, show stat-wise once you move everything around. So let us move the final game forward. Um, we're gonna do the same thing we've done the last uh, two Xbox steps. Gonna choose a random team, I guess Missouri, because I always choose who's uh, the away team. I just go to the left. Um, check the playbook, see if they're the same. Then we're just gonna go in and we are just going to super sim the game all the way through till that we get a a national champion because I'm not playing it you can if you want as I've said before at this point you can do whatever you want playing it will get the same result simming it or by super simming it in the game will get the same result but you need to do either of those you can't sim it from outside through the schedule where it gives you that option that just says sim the game you can't do that it won't work so we'll let this guy load up and get ready for the national championship game between the 11th the number 11 team overall and the 12 our 22nd best team overall which I think when I started this I was scoffing at the fact that Missouri had won and Baylor had won their conferences so they will be playing for the national championship right now which is hilarious so we're gonna skip all this stuff skip all the intro very nice though so we are gonna do the coin flip and it'll be tails uh, Missouri will win and then just receive for him and here we go we're gonna do the super sim the right bumper and then we're gonna skip ahead to the end of the game and this usually goes by pretty quick Missouri off to a quick lead Baylor does not get the chance to respond but they respond quickly after I'm assuming a turnover because they get the ball pretty quick Baylor again scoring very quickly on offense they've done every game I've watched them super sim they've done this they keep going up 10 
Stall out, only get three, but that will do it. And the Baylor Bears, who were the lowest ranked team coming in, pull off the stunner and they pull off the Cinderella season to win the national title. If we look at uh, Russell Hansborough, uh, 13 attempts, 45 yards, and a touchdown. So just going to mark that in my little notepad right here really quick. Doesn't really matter, but I like to keep that tallied so that I've got everything down. So I'm going to have this so I've got all my stuff between the two videos. So I've got Baylor, 34, Missouri, 28 in the natty. There we are. I'll put that at the beginning of it. Uh, national Championship. And again, you can't see what I'm typing on my computer, but it's there now. So, there we go. We've got everything figured out. Uh, we're just going to exit the game. Everything should be set. All we have to do now... <sighs> Excuse me. Burping there. All we got to do right now is... I think if I remember correctly... Um, let me see if this was right. All we got to do is now, at this point, okay, this is where we've got to keep things together. Checked it really quick, but now, we're going to sim to the end of the season. Not the end of the, or I guess we're at the end of bull season. So it's going to auto-save right here. Now, we've got our games all played, okay? So as you can see right here, all the games have been played. This uh, regional, uh... Let's see. That was a regional. That was a regional. Uh, these two were the semifinal games. And then this was a regional. And then our national championship game. Okay? Everything should be set up and ready to go. So now, we go to this tab, the bull week, and we're going to advance the week. S pay very close attention to this point, because you're either going to mess everything up, or you're going to do everything perfect. So you got to... Click A on the Advance of the Week, and you're going to advance to the end of bowl season, okay? This is the step before you advance to the coaching carousel. If you try to advance to the end of season right here, everything will be messed up. You can't go back and change the bowls of everybody going back, and the results will kind of get all funky, and, you know, it's kind of a mess at this point. So, you want to advance to the end of bowl season, the step right before the end of the season. So, we're going to click it right here. We're going to start advancing. Again, end of bull season, so the step right after the bull season step. We're just going to advance to the end of the bull season, not the end of the season. And we're going to figure this all out. We're going to move all the teams back, and everything should be in order. Alrighty. Alright, once this guy uh, gets all the way through, it's actually simming the other bull games that were not played all the way through. Let us see how this finished out. Oh, wow. In this sim, when we did the 14 playoff, Arizona won 17 to 14, I think it was. And they lost this game this time. Alrighty. So let us check the scores and schedules. So if we go over here, make sure the results still save. Oh, this goes to week one. That's why. I was wondering why it was so long. So we go all the way here. As you can see, this game finished. The only games that did not save are these two games that we messed around with. But they will save once we sim to the end of the regular season. So, as you can see, Colorado State is still 6-6. Six and six. Uh, Marshall is still 8-5. and five. So, they did not get their... Um, what do I want to call it? They did not get their full bid. Alrighty, and that should do it, I think. Um, just making sure the other one up here saved. Um, Georgia, Ohio State. Yep, Georgia did not get another uh, game in. So, there we go. Everything should be good. Now, we have to go back and we have to save the file. We're going to go to Dynasty Setup. Save Dynasty. You want to go to your 18 playoff, and you want to save it. Save these results. It'll save it. There we go. And everything should be good. We're going to back all the way out. And then we are going to dashboard it. We're going to click Y. 
head out to the dashboard. We're out of NCAA. Now, for the final part of the computer part of this uh, tutorial, we're going to back all the way out and then we're going to start replacing the bulls. We're going to put them back into the order that they were to start with. So let us figure that out and then I'll see you guys right back when I get to the computer. Alrighty guys, now we're going to edit our file one last time so that we can have the stats save correctly. So we're going to open Modio as we did before. Alrighty, we're going to open from a device. And there we go. We're going to open this guy up. Open NCAA and then open our 18 playoff. There we go. We're going to go to our file contents and we're going to extract the file. Alrighty. Now we're going to save over. Do you want to place it? Yes. We're done with Modio. Go to the EA DB editor. Oh, not open yet. Load. Now get out of here. Load the configuration file. The Zans NCAA Dynasty configuration. Load this up. It'll take a little bit. Once the guy loads all the way through, like so. And boom. Let me stretch this out a little bit. We're gonna open our Dynasty file that we saved. It's in my test Dynasty folder. Open this drop down menu. Go to All. Open your 18 Dynasty, or your, my Dynasty, which I labeled 18 for the playoff. And this will take a little bit to load, so I'll cut back to when this finally does load, and I'll get back to you. Alrighty, guys, so our file is finally loaded. So I'm going to make this guy a little bigger. And we're going to go to our scheduled data. Now, for this, I know I showed on the 14 playoff a way to do it. Uh, fortunately, I made a mistake on it. I fixed it uh, later on, but the mistake I made is instead of just replacing the teams, like putting back uh, Ohio and Colorado State here, we're going to go everywhere that the team won and replace that with the team who won that game. So we need to go here at the Texas A&M game. That was the first game we had. We had Texas A&M lose to Missouri, so we're going to replace Marshall with Missouri. So yes, they're going to appear multiple times in multiple spots. So 34, we're going to replace Missouri with Colorado State. Like so. So that should be all set. Didn't really touch that. Right here, we got to replace in the Rose Bowl, which is 33. Baylor with Ohio. Like so. We got to replace Miami or Northern Illinois, excuse me, with Baylor, like so. We've got to replace Southern Miss right here in 28 with our uh, Boise State Broncos, like so. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch, let's see that, so we got the Louisville, Nebraska Mississippi State, that was actually a game. Making sure I'm hitting all my numbers correctly. Um, little boy state. We gotta scroll down to 16. I know that. And I think I might have passed it. There it is. Replace Georgia with UCLA. No, not UCF. UCLA. And then is that it? We had Ohio State losing to UCLA, which we fixed. That was 16. Fixed Louisville. Uh, Boise State, right here, fixed uh, Miami Baylor, I think that's up a little further, Miami Baylor, fixed Baylor against UCLA, um, Missouri versus Boise State, and then did I fix the Cotton Bowl, yep, Texas A&M against Mizzou, fixed that. Should do it. I think that's all our game. So we fixed these matchups. We fixed those first four. Then we fixed two. So we should have fixed six in total. So one, two, three, four. I know 16 was five. And I gotta fix this too. Ohio State. I don't know why it's Oregon State. I'm 
Unless, wait, shit, I scroll down too far, that's why. This is Oregon State. There we go. Doi. There we go. Right here. So we got Ohio State, UCLA. Fix that matchup. UCLA, Louisville. Which is... No, uh, Louisville, Boise State. Miami, Baylor. Mizzou, Texas A&M, which is up a little further. Right there. Then we gotta fix, we fix the other two games, which is Boise State, Missouri, UCLA, Baylor, and then our final game, which is right there. Okay, now we gotta go to the team schedule. Double tap the game number, double tap the week number. We leave those, those are fine for the national championship. We have to replace uh, Marshall here in game 37 with Baylor. Is that right? Yes. Because 37 was the regional, yep. With Baylor. Alrighty, we got a flip. Colorado State here at 34, which was Missouri. So we got to flip Colorado State with Missouri. Like so. There we go. Flip Ohio here at 33 with Baylor. So, Northern Illinois here at 31 with Baylor. Gotta scroll down to 28. Southern Miss, we gotta change with Boise State. That it. Gotta go 16 out of that and change Georgia with UCLA. I think that might be it for the editing process right here. So UCLA, UCLA. We're gonna count really quick just to be 100% safe. So we've got one. Two. 31 3 and then we got to go to 4 right there 5 there's 6 and then 7 was our national title so everything should be set at this point so the mistake that I made the last time I made this video, um, which I didn't explain to everybody at this point, basically because um, I wanted to get it done first. But what we did is we have now replaced all the teams that were sitting in those bowls so that while we were in bowl season, it didn't corrupt our file. But now that we're past bowl season, we're just setting it up saying, hey, these are where the teams won. And it'll show on the schedule and save the stats now. So with this save right here, we are saving the stats for our file and now we don't have to worry about any of the you know kind of minor details that we had uh, with our uh, files because um, the last time when we didn't save those it didn't save the stats so I've got to go or I went back already and I already saved those and made that mistake and I added it to the video but that's what we got to do right there so now that we've got that all saved I'm gonna go here we're gonna save it it's gonna give us a little circle of doing things there we go we're gonna click done done with EA DB editor bring up Modio again I'm gonna right click here it's going a little slow we're going to replace the file Whatever it's done there we go with our file not the database but the actual file open it up 
Gonna go through the process, trying to load and do the things. Once that is done though, see there it's responding. And there we go, we can go over this general info. We're gonna save to device. It'll bring this guy up. I will save it on my profile. Right there, double click that and then watch here. Once it says save to device and changes back, we will be done with Modio and we can take out our USB flash drive. So save the device and NCAA football 14. So now we are done with Modio. I'm gonna X that out, X Modio out. Do your thing. There you go. Now we're gonna go here, remove our USB. Eject it. And there we go. So we can remove our USB safely. And we'll go back and check if the file did work. So I will be back with you guys on my Xbox and then I'll wrap up the video. I'll, you know, tell basically explain kind of the little things like pros and cons and all that. But let's get over to that and I will be with you guys shortly on my Xbox. Alrighty guys, we're back on the uh, Dynasty file and we're just gonna check it one more time. I'm gonna show you guys the full results of us moving everything around and saving the Dynasty file. So let us go all the way over here to, um, I think the best way to show it to you is from scores and schedules. So if we look at it through bowl season, you're gonna notice there's a UCLA played against Ohio State go a little further there's a UCLA against Baylor and there's a ba two Baylors there the best way I think to look at it though to show you the results of what we have done is looking at Baylor's schedule and there you have it so they played number one Miami number three UCLA number I don't know why I chose number two um, Texas A&M and Missouri's game there but it does show you the Missouri Baylor game. So let's see if it actually does that for the Missouri file. Right there. And no, you see, it just shows them playing against Bama, Boise. Oh, it just actually moved their game. So you actually see the results of them. They're just kind of all scattered over the place. But it does show you that they played against each other. Texas A&M only has their game against uh, uh, Missouri, which is right here. For some reason, it says Baylor. Really weird, but that is how um, the results show. It shows the right one up at the top, at least. So that actually is going to do it for this video. So now you see the stats saved, all the results have held. Um, so yeah, Southwick's up there with a lot of passing yards. I think if we go uh, the entire NCAA, I think you got to go to the bottom and then all the way top of the conferences you can see if we sort by passing yards Teddy Bridgewater Southwick I don't know if this is a good one maybe if we go rushing NCAA I don't know it's not showing the stats that I want to see I want to see a lot of rushing yards or a lot of stats like some of the best guys on top Louisville's guys up there I don't know if that shows but there you go it shows the results of who played who after um, all the stats have saved so basically let me run down with you right now um, that's basically it that's all you have to do and your 18 playoff is saved so some of the things I want to review with you really quick um, this can even go further if you want to go to a 16 team playoff you just got to do another round of the um, editing and you got to make 16 teams lose your bid and then obviously you can do a 32 team playoff and half the bulls will um, be removed I think because I think there are 32 bulls if I remember correctly um, not sure one two I think there's 32 something like that there's something like 32 bowl games and if all those go all the way through then you should be safe I'm assuming um, to my knowledge you should be safe um, so that's what I think so let's review really quick um, the 14 playoff was very simple it was just moving two things together or moving having two teams lose a playoff and just moving around a little bit having the 
um, teams that you're gonna have removed in the national title having the number one versus number four in one of the BCS games having two versus three in another game and the winner of those you flop with the um, the national championship game that they have in there and then simulate that and then just put the winners back into their respective games for stat wise so that one is simple the pros for that again really fast goes a lot quicker than this uh, fourth or the 18 playoff did um, so that can be done really quick and it's still pretty exciting the 18 playoff though I think is the most bang for your buck um, you will get um, a lot of teams in there um, you'll get a lot of uh, You'll get a lot more um, reality, like as we saw here, um, Baylor beat everybody they faced and won the national title as the number 22nd ranked team in the nation. So, who knows? We'll, we don't really know how that's going to finish, but that's pretty exciting and you can play through that. If you're actually playing in that, you got a lot of games that you get to play, so it's kind of pick your poison at this point. I think if I do a dynasty, which I think I am going to do, um, I am going to do an eight-team playoff the way that this went, and it's really simple. It's kind of time-consuming, but once you get the hang of it, you could pretty much go through this process of the at least editing part of it if all you're doing is simming in about 30 minutes, I think, and you can go through that part, and you'll have a lot of storylines going into your dynasty if you like that kind of stuff. So that's what I think. I think. Eight teams the best, four is really easy, and you can go even further this, I think up to 32. I think you can't do more than that because then it gets a little more complicated, but that is what I think, and thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you stuck around for the whole thing, I want to thank you guys so much, and if you liked it, definitely drop a like rating so I know if you like the, or if you uh, enjoyed the video, if it was actually helpful for you, um, it actually will let me know if I should do more of these tutorial things. This is kind of the first tutorial I've done. I've done kind of like, you know, my dynasty things where I've talked about on my old channel, and I've done um, little things like that, uh, but this is the first actually tutorial video I've done, so if you like it, definitely leave a like rating so I know if you have liked this, and if you wanna see more content, definitely subscribe. Um, just hit that bottom button down there, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a series with this playoff thing. So if you like NCAA videos, you like kind of the story to it, I will find a way to um, make that happen for you. I'll let it so you can watch, not watch, but you can actually, um, if you subscribe, I'll start a playlist and I'll start those games and you can start following along with those and we'll see how it goes. I've got a lot of ideas for the way I want to do it and I think I've got the one that I think is perfect, but I'm going to flesh it out a little more. So. If you do subscribe, you can expect more videos like this. I'm gonna maybe a little more tutorials, but definitely expect a series with this 18 playoff is the way I think I'm gonna do it. If you do subscribe, so uh, thanks again, guys, for watching, and this is the UFC Wildcat signing out.